redshirted one, and this will be my third year. Uh, it's probably been a little bit more eventful and changeable than you expected, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you told me when I when I committed here that I'd have three different coaches. <laughs> probably would have laughed in your face, but um, you know, God works in mysterious ways, and everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer in that. Um, you know, I know I'm right where I'm supposed to be, playing for the coach I'm supposed to be playing for, playing for the university I'm supposed to be playing for. So. I'm excited for this year. If you look at a picture of you four years ago, do you, do you like the before and after the scrawny beach kid? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I look like I was still in middle school about four years ago. But who knows, now I look like I'm in high school. So, um, you know, at least I'm getting older, so I'll be sure. Everybody knows you're a shooter, and that includes the opponents. Yeah. How do you get your shots off over the course of the game? They're having great teammates, setting good screens, um, and good offense, and good you know plays set up for me, working my guys off screens, and then obviously adding another dimension to my game, trying to improve my ball handling, my decision making, my my ability to make plays really opens up um, the you know the window for me to get a shot off. I was going to ask you about what you just referred to. Do you think you're sort of underappreciated by? people who don't see you play every day with the other skills that you do have? Yeah, you know, I think when they think of Ryan McMahon, they think of a shooter. Um, Coach Mack, when, when I came here, he, he made it very clear to me. He said, I've watched a lot of game film, and I look at you as way more than a shooter. I'm going to treat you like that and hold you to a standard more than that. Um, and I think that just got our relationship off to a great start because, I mean, I know I shoot the ball well, but I don't, I don't think, I don't consider myself as just a shooter. So. I like thinking about myself as a playmaker and um, somebody that, you know, shooting is definitely their strengths. How grueling was the off-season condition you guys went through? And even if it was, did you like it? Did you did you feed off that a little bit? I mean, Fred and uh, Coach Kettler did a great job of keeping us off the court, you know, minimizing our um, amount of time that we were just running sprints and sprints and sprints. Um, they wanted, you know, to keep our what is it, wear on the tires, you know, to keep it fresh. Um, so we did a lot of treadmill work, did a lot of work on the versa climbers. Hate those things. Um, but it was definitely, definitely intense as it has been in the past, just different. Um, but our weight training, oh my gosh, it was, uh, it was brutal. Um, you know, having to make certain weights and every day and eat, 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 and just. Give it your all in the weight room day after day when you're sore and sore, and you, can, you felt like you just continued to get more sore. So, um, but it obviously paid off. I mean, a lot of you guys saw the before and after. So, um, you know, looking back on it, I'm, I'm glad we, we gave it our all. Are you heavier, or is your body just reconfigured and is your weight redistributed? Um, shred a little bit of fat, put on some muscle. Um, I am a little bit heavier than I was last year, about seven, eight pounds. Uh, but I don't feel heavy, you know, on the court. I actually feel quicker, lighter, stronger. So um, it was definitely good weight put on by everybody. You're always going to get asked comparison questions. Not mean this good or bad, but is it? Is with Coach Mack, is the physicality of the game and play the physical style different from how both the coaching team? In terms of physicality, no. Um, they both, both of the coaches expect the same intensity in terms of the physical presence that we that we show on the floor. Um, it's it's different in terms of the running. You know, we're not pressing and running all over the place, but we're pushing the ball on offense. I feel like a lot more than we were last year and, and previous years. You know, the only time I felt like we really really pushed the ball was on misses or on turnovers when Coach P was here. Misses, makes, whatever, turnovers, we're pushing the ball on offense here this year. And then, you know, we kind of have a Virginia style when it comes to defense, pack line, pack and in, getting the passing and stuff like that. So This offense is commonly referred to as a four out, one under. Is that accurate? And, and if so, um, do you like playing that way? Definitely. I think it spreads the floor. We have guys at the stretch four position that, that can shoot the crap out of the ball. So, um, I think that's kind of where the game of basketball is moving. You see it with the Warriors, you see it with the Houston Rockets. You know, the more shooters you have on the floor, the, the harder you are to defend. And that four out one in um, offense is kind of what we've been implementing. And um, 
it's a little bit different than how I've played in the past, you know, with two bigs kind of clogging up the lane, you know, play tough and have them always in position to rebound. But, um, you know, we're adjusting and you know, we're getting the hang of this really for sure. Thank you so much question, I was, was, was going to ask. Good luck to you this year. I appreciate it. You kind of answered this, but change things. Things change. I know coaches basically, you work hard every day, and I know with Coach P before, he all went hard every day. I'm oh, yeah. assuming it's, how has it been different with Coach Matt? Um, you know, there was a lot of five-on-five five when Coach P was here in practice. He did a lot of five-on-five five work, going up and down, 20, 25, 30-minute pressing segments, and just going and going and going and going nonstop. Maybe it'll stop for a minute, correct a few things, and then you're going and going. Here, it's, it, it's not too much five-on-five. It's a lot of three-on-three three work, four-on-four four work, you know, kind of cutting the court, you know, making it smaller and working on this specific area and, and working on a different area later. And, um, different coaching philosophies, different ways this is going to cap. You can ultimately all get the job done. Um, so it's been interesting to see the different coaching styles and methods of how they get the job done. But, I mean, they're both great coaches and, you know, have had a lot of success in both of their careers, so um, and it's kind of been eye-opening in terms of how I've seen those two different styles go down on a daily basis. I'm sure it's been interesting. Thanks. Yeah, good luck to you this year. Appreciate you, talk. you are the last of the Mohicans when it comes to the 2015 class. Yeah. All your other <laughs> amigos right have moved on down hey, the road. They all left me. Great recruiting class. So I've enjoyed watching you guys, enjoyed following you guys. And I remember one time, you know, being at a game, and I looked up and saw you and your mom sitting in the stands that came up to you. I'm going to show you that picture. I got that picture for the day, and I'm going to show it to you. Which you were excited, a young, naive kid coming out of high school. You know how it is when you come was out of high school. You that Virginia or uh, North Carolina game? I think it was a Virginia game. I saw you and your mom in the stands and came up and took a picture of you guys. One of those two. Right. Um, you know how naive you are when you come out of high school. Oh, yeah. You don't know. You think you know it all, but you yeah. have no clue. Yeah. Uh, what have you learned as a person? What, what kind of a what, what lesson or you know what have you learned? You know since you've been at Louisville because you've gone through a lot. I mean yeah, most yeah, players yeah. don't go through what you went through here. You know and you've learned a lot. You know on the court as well as probably away from the court. What what how have you grown up since that picture I took of you and yeah, you know I, back then? That's a good question. I think one of the biggest things would be uh, learning how to live and embrace the present because you don't really know what's going to happen in the future and you don't know, you know, you, know, you can't change anything in the past. So um, you can't control what's going on in the future. You can't control how many coaches you're going to play for. You can't control what scandals or things are going to go down. Sometimes things are just out of your control. And um, My dad and I have talked about it a lot over the last couple of years about how how much I've learned to just kind of live in the moment and take each day, you know, at, you know, by itself, and just kind of try to make the most out of it. And all the pieces will fall where they where they're supposed to. Um, the life lessons I've learned here are are crazy. It's been kind of a roller coaster, but at the same time, like I find myself still happy to be here, you know, excited for the future, excited to um, just feel like this season just. It, it's it's been crazy, man. but I wouldn't change any of it. Like I don't regret coming here at all. Awesome. Thanks, man.